to step up his action and act faster than the way is being done right now. Declare state of emergency on security so that all resources and all strength will be channeled towards ensuring that we have security for lives and property in this country. Because for now, everything is in disarray. And without security, there can be no meaningful development. And so the presidency is not doing well. That is why I had to write to him. That is why I had to uh, open up and publicly declare that the president must come out and take steps that will redeem his image. President Buhari served this country as a military head of state. And Nigerians appreciated him for who he was. And that was why overwhelmingly he was voted into power in 2015. But honestly, what is happening now, the body language shows clearly that it is not the president who is supposed to be the president of everybody, but for nobody. It is clear to me that the president is the president who is the president for everybody and for some people. <laughs> so this is the challenge I have. But when you talk about these things, I saw some sponsored media outings that talk about performance of Oton. I'm doing well, just like any other government uh, governor in this country. And I'm working with my people. My people appreciate me. In terms of infrastructure, go to Benue, you see it. Since I left APC, I've been a performing governor. <laughs> go there and see. I've been a performing governor. Anybody who wants can go to Benue State. Let my media people take you around. And in terms of payment of salaries, since 2018, I have not failed in paying salaries. And it's not 50% of 100%. And Benue State is the third state that is paying the highest salary, apart from Lagos and River State. So when you come to bring those barefooted arguments that uh, Otom have not done anything, come to Benue State, you have not been there. It's just that I'm publicity shy. That is why you don't see those things. <laughs> <laughs>